Hi you guys, how are you all? I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna be sharing what I'm bringing with me on my uh, upcoming trip. I wanna say a massive thank you again for all of your recommendations about Tokyo and Japan in general. Sounds like all of you have had a wonderful time there, so I am very excited. I can't wait to check out uh, the restaurants and the shops that you guys sent me, so thank you again. Uh, but I just wanna share with you guys what I'm gonna be bringing with me. I know I've done a few videos like this, but I feel like every time I go on a new trip, I tweak what I bring just a little bit and then I'm sure if you guys have seen those previous videos you will see some returning products so you know that those are the ones that are my travel essentials but I'm actually gonna be checking a bag for this trip the whole reason we're actually going is because one night there's this crazy sale on tickets so we bought like the very cheapest tickets but that means that you have to check your bag and you can only bring a carry-on so I'm gonna show you guys what I will be checking which is gonna be primarily my skincare and makeup and then what I'm actually gonna be bringing on the plane with me which is just things to keep me comfortable throughout the flight. So why don't we start with what I'm gonna bring on the plane. I just have this like little clear bag that on shorter trips I end up just using for pretty much everything. But I can stuff this as full as I want for this trip because I'll have another bag in my suitcase. But this is just like I said, sort of the essentials to keep me comfortable throughout the flight. So I have a new toothbrush because I think it actually can make a real difference to brush your teeth on a flight. Sometimes it just feels really gross not to for so many hours. You just get that like weird uh, I don't know, just like a weird gross plain feeling. <laughs> I feel like brushing your teeth is one way to kind of get rid of that and refresh yourself a little bit, especially because this is such a long flight. And I don't know if we're flying overnight. I don't really remember. The time change is very significant. Like I know we're flying out uh, one day here and we get in the next day, but I don't know if it's the next day Japan time or if it's also the next day our time. I don't know. Anyway, it's very confusing. Haven't figured it out yet, but I thought I would bring a toothbrush and toothpaste just in case. Also have an eye mask. I bring my own just because I don't find the ones that they give you very comfortable and sometimes they don't give you one at all. So I got this cute little cotton one with a pajama set that I got for Christmas a long time ago and it's just really soft and really comfortable um, and the band isn't really tight. Sometimes, I don't know if you guys ever wear like headbands or something, but when a band is really tight on your head, can give you a little bit of a headache. So I just wanted to make sure that whatever eye mask I brought was very comfortable um, and did its job. Along those lines, I'm bringing my own earplugs. The noise from an airplane can be really exhausting, so it's nice to plug in earplugs. Sometimes I'll just leave on like headphones, but even that after so many hours can be a little bit uncomfortable. So earplugs are a great way to kind of cancel noise and just get a more peaceful rest if you plan to take a nap. I'm not usually someone who can sleep on airplanes, but I am packing all the stuff just in case I'm trying to like put the uh, energy forward that I'll be able to fall asleep at least for a little bit because it is such a long flight but knowing myself I will not fall asleep. The next thing that I want to have handy is hand sanitizer. I'm always someone that gets sick on a plane. I'm actually going to go to Whole Foods pretty soon and buy the uh, white version of this as well to pack in my bag. So this is the EO um, lavender hand sanitizer. I like this because it smells nice and it doesn't make your hands feel super dry. I also really like the wipes again because they smell really nice and I plan to wipe down my seat, my seat belt, my tray table, all of that. I refuse to get sick on this trip. Uh, I just don't want to and I feel like the past few times that I've flown I've gotten sick so I'm gonna take extra preventative measures. Again my little toothpaste. This is just a travel kind. This isn't the normal kind that I would use. This was just some something the dentist gave me. It's Colgate sensitive, so I don't know. We'll see how this goes, but it's a little tube and I figured I would just use it um, and then probably throw it away at the end of this trip. And the last kind of like medical or just health related product is this new thing that I got. It's called the Olbus Inhaler. Um, I heard about this and how it can help with your sinuses when you fly. And it's just like this little, it almost looks like a chapstick. You pull off the cap and you just kind of inhale and ease nostril. And it's supposed to help, again, with your sinuses, keeping them clear, keeping them clean. So like I said, I'm on a mission to not get sick and I'm hoping that this will help. I actually was thinking about getting this like nasal oil, <laughs> which I know I'm getting like a little bit crazy here, but you guys don't know how bad it is. When every vacation you take, you end up getting sick on. It's just so frustrating. So it was like this nasal oil. It was called Ponaris or something, P-O-N-A-R-I-S. And it was an oil that you kind of like drip up your nose and it's supposed to help keep your sinuses clean and 
maybe like hydrated. I don't totally know, but it was supposed to be amazing and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I don't want to order it off of Amazon because it's like $30, which is twice the price it should be. So maybe before my next trip, I'll try that. But if you guys have any other tips for how to not get sick on an airplane, let me know because I will be reading these comments like crazy. So again, what I bring skincare wise is very minimal, just the essentials. Um, one thing that I do like to bring is a Josh Rosebrook hydrating spray. This is just a nice spray um, just to keep your skin hydrated. It also is really refreshing and during a long flight, it's nice to take this to the bathroom with you and just give yourself like a little bit of spritz and feel like you're refreshing your skin, kind of like refreshing your mood and keeping your spirits high even though you have a long day ahead of you of travel. Um, so I brought this and then I also brought one of my Ursa Major um, face wipes. So I don't really plan to use this because again, I'm not gonna be wearing makeup up, just kind of skincare but sometimes when you get off of a plane you just feel like you need a little refresh and you don't want to dig through your whole suitcase to get stuff out so I thought this would be a really quick easy way to do that. The last two products I have uh, one is always a favorite though I laid a skin food. This I can use all over. I can use this on my nose if it gets dry. I can use this on my lips. I can use this all over my face, my hands. This is just a miracle cream to have with you, um, especially when you're traveling and you're in such a dehydrating environment. It's really nice. I get super, super dry hands to the point where they kind of like crack when I'm on planes and in cold weather and stuff like that. So whenever I travel, I try and bring this with me, try and remember to. Um, so that way I can make sure to take care of my skin and keep it nice and hydrated. And then as a last thing to keep in this bag, it's just this little chapstick. So if I want to put um, chapstick on, if my lips are getting chapped, I can use this as well. And this is just one that I picked up earlier this summer. It's just like a plain chapstick, no pigment, anything like that. And I will be carrying that with me. Okay, moving right along to my actual bag that has my makeup and skincare in it. It's the same bag that I always feature, this basics bag that I got years and years and years ago, and I still think it's great. It has a lot of different compartments, and I just put half of it filled with makeup and then the other half filled with skincare and then whatever else I can stuff in in between, like a hairbrush and stuff like that. So speaking of hairbrushes, bringing a hairbrush. Um, this is just the Tangle Teaser. I've had this for so many years. In fact, it's like totally broken. It's cracked open a lot of times, but I keep just popping it back into place. So these last for a really long time. I think this is probably like year seven or so with it. And I just clean it every so often and it's really great. And then before I open the compartments, I'm actually gonna be bringing brand new skincare that I haven't tried before, which I feel like is always a risk on vacation, but I'm gonna do it. And I feel like worst case, if I have to force myself to go shopping there and get some new skincare because this doesn't work out for me. It's not going to be the end of the world, but I have a feeling it will work out for me because this is skincare targeted for sensitive skin. So it has very calming ingredients. Um, it shouldn't obviously cause a reaction. And one of the products I'm very familiar with. So this is actually um, skincare from Pi. Now this is all travel size. They have this new sensitive skin toolkit. And when I met with the founder, they were kind enough to give this to me. I do try and bring travel size products with me when I am traveling because one, that's what they're intended for and two it just means like less bulk less to carry and I can fit more in my bag so this is a really great kit because it kind of comes with all the essentials obviously I won't be bringing the box I'm just leaving it in there to show you guys it has the light work rose hip cleansing oil which I'm already a huge fan of and I already use all the time so I know that this will work for me to take off all my makeup um, it has a gentle hydrating cleanser uh, this little like muslin cloth to kind of wipe off that cleanser. It has an eye cream, a face oil, and then for during the day, it has a moisturizer. So it's kind of has all the essentials that I need. I don't think I'll need anything else. In fact, who knows if I'll even use all of this every single day, but it's kind of perfect for travel and a great way to try out their skincare. So I'm really looking forward to this. The only other skincare item that I'm really bringing is this One Love um, charcoal mask. I just thought it'd be fun to bring a mask. I like to bring masks with me when I'm traveling just because some nights um, you're kind of tired from all the travel and you just want to have a cozy night in. And so it's fun to bring a charcoal mask. I'm traveling with two other people so they can obviously use this mask as well. And this one was just a nice travel size one. So I'm bringing this One Love charcoal mask. Looking forward to using that. I'm bringing obviously deodorant, very important. And Primally Pure was super sweet and they sent me a beautiful PR package and 
restocked me in their geranium deodorant, which is my absolute favorite. If you have not tried their deodorant, you need to. It is 100% life-changing. I did figure out what was going on with the Schmitz deodorant. So I had the fragrance-free deodorant that I had repurchased to use again, and I didn't realize that what I had purchased before that was the sensitive skin version of the fragrance-free. So the one that I purchased had baking soda, and the one that I purchased before didn't, and that's why I was getting a reaction. So if you guys um, are getting like a little bit of a reaction from their deodorant, try the baking soda free one because I know that works better for me. But this one I've never had a reaction to. I love love the scent and it just works so well. I'm going to be bringing new shampoo to try. I received an InnerSense travel size hair trio that came with three products, but I'm actually just going to bring two because you guys know me. I'm very low maintenance about my hair. And so I'm just bringing the InnerSense Pure Harmony Hair Bath and the InnerSense Pure Inspiration Daily Conditioner. So I'll give these a try and let you guys know what I think. I have a tiny little container of the Goop um, G-Tox Scalp Scrub. I actually just finished my large container and I was so sad that I wouldn't be able to bring it on this trip and honestly I won't be able to use it anymore um, but then I saw that I had this little sample that I had put into this Tata Harper cleansing sample jar and so I'm gonna bring this and use this up I guess maybe this is kind of skincare not really though I'm gonna be bringing a small sample of the Suntegrity natural moisturizing face sunscreen and primer this is just in case the Suntegrity product that I'm bringing for makeup wise um, maybe I don't want pigment one day or maybe if I run out of that because I'm kind of on the last little bit of it then I can fill in with this little guy and I can also throw this in my bag and carry it around with me in case we're out all day and they want to reapply sunscreen. Although I, I did look and I think it's supposed to be kind of rainy when we're there, so. And then a few other just like basics. So I brought a razor, a shower cap because we're gonna be staying at an Airbnb, so they might not have that, and then some floss. Now, on to makeup. So this is the last little bit of products that I plan to bring with me. I have been known to bring a lot of makeup and then wear absolutely none of it. <laughs> so I am trying to keep it quite minimal this trip. And so I strategically picked products that I felt like I could either wear on their own or that are kind of like no makeup makeup products because that's what I would lean towards. I know we're gonna try and do like one nice dinner when we're there. So I have a feeling I'll wanna wear makeup that night. But otherwise, I don't really know how much makeup I'm gonna be wearing. So I brought kind of like everyday essentials. The first for me is Suntegrity's 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen. This is just a great product to kind of throw on and be like a one and done sort of thing. It has a little bit of pigment in it, but it has SPF. I am almost out of this, so I'm going to bring it and keep my fingers crossed. And if I start to run low, the trick is to actually cut it in half. And then there's a ton of product that you can still squeeze out. Kind of a bummer about the packaging. But yes, there's usually a lot of product left in here, even when you think it's completely empty. So I'm hoping that this will last the whole trip, but it might not. That's why I brought the other sample. And then I'm gonna be bringing um, my Kierweiss Collectors Kit. So this is just like a little travel size kit. I know I mentioned this, but I'll be traveling with two other people. So there's not always gonna be access to a bathroom to do my makeup. Maybe someone will be in there. So I wanted to bring something with a really nice mirror. Um, and this one has a super nice mirror, as you can see. And then it's nice too because all of your products are in here and they're all easy to use with your fingers. I was gonna bring the Kira Weiss foundation anyway because I can use it really as a concealer or a full um, face of foundation. And when I tend to be on vacation, I tend to just reach for a concealer. So it's kind of like that duo product. I can use it either way. And then I have this really beautiful blush and I have a highlighter and then an eyeshadow, really neutral color. Um, and I'll just plan to use my fingers, even though this is a powder eyeshadow, I still think it blends pretty well. So that's gonna keep things very simple. This is just kind of like a nice way to organize everything when you're traveling. And a couple of other products in case I wanna jazz up my look or something. Um, the Hourglass Arch Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil. This is what I've been using to kind of fill in my brows. I really like how precise you can be with it. Um, and yeah, I just like that it gives your brows like an, a little extra emphasis, but it still looks extremely natural. I'll be bringing the Eco Brow Clear Brow Gel. I'll be showing you guys this in a video next week, along with a whole host of new products, which I'm super excited to talk to you guys about. And there's gonna be another giveaway, so that's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna be bringing brow gel because I cannot live without it. My eyebrows are insane. And then the final two products are kind of like an everyday lip and then a lip in case I want to really dress up and wear a bold lip. So everyday lip, I'm going to be bringing the Kosa Sport Lip Fuel in Pulse. Um, I shared this in a favorites video. I've just been loving this so, so much. I'm so excited that I found this product and this will just be living in my handbag throughout the day um, when I'm walking around so that I can just apply it. And then if I want to dress up a little bit, then I have brought this Kosa's Dark Room. Um, this is 
is a really beautiful lipstick. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's kind of, it looks pretty red on camera, but it's more of a burgundy. And it's just one of my favorite fall colors. So I thought it would be fun to bring uh, just a little something different. Okay, you guys, so that is pretty much everything that I'm bringing. There are a few little things that I'll probably add in at the end. Uh, so a couple of things I need to grab before I leave, like those antibacterial wipes. That's pretty much everything. So I'd love to know if you guys have any travel essentials. If you have any tips <laughs> for not getting sick when you're on an airplane, please let me know. I will be looking forward to seeing all those in the comments. Um, and if you haven't entered my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, head over to my Instagram. Instagram and find my post from last Tuesday, uh, you will see that you can enter and let me know which one of the five packages you would like. All the rules are going to be on last week's video or over on my Instagram if you go check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching again and if you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe if you are interested in videos always featuring clean green beauty. Otherwise, a massive thank you to you guys who are continuing to watch my videos and I will see you all very soon. Bye.